Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Sean Skins with another video, and I feel like I haven't said that intro in a long time, because I really haven't, because uh, I've been posting a shit ton of gaming videos and stuff like that, but um, I've been having fun. Uh, I know there's not many views on those videos, but I enjoy making them, you know. Uh, I would appreciate if y'all would go watch them, but it's okay. I, I understand if you don't want to watch them, but... The whole point of me doing that is just to get a different following from other people, you know, shit like that. But uh, for you Photoshop people, I'm not going away, all right? I still got y'all, so that's what we're doing today. So, um, with everything going on, you know, the coronavirus and all that bullshit, all right? Um, no photographers are really taking photos anymore. And first of all, the reason why, because there's no sports going on. And second of all, I doubt any photographers are allowed in the stadiums or whatever the hell, the arenas, um, maybe like two or three, all right? So it's very hard to find good photos of what's going on in the sports world right now. So uh, I have a little solution, and it's not that hard at all. This is the easiest thing in the world. So uh, if you guys want to just watch this video, sit back, enjoy, and if you want to learn something um, and do it yourself, go ahead and do it. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So first thing you want to do is we are going to look up our player that we want to do. So um, we're going to do Devin Booker because the Suns are kind of hot right now. I was going to do the Pelicans, but they have let me down. I'm kind of upset. So we're going to hit images and then we're going to go to tools. I lied. We're going to go to settings first, advanced search, any size, put it up to 4MP, advanced search. Okay, now we're going to get a shit ton of high quality images. This is what you want, all right? So now that we have that, we're going to then go to Tools. It should already be clicked. Go to Time and go to Past 24 Hours. Now, most people already know this, but this is just to show the people that don't how to do it. So as you guys can see here, this was just recently, literally seven hours ago. Um, this is just the most recent picture of Devin Booker. You can tell they're in, as you can see, um, you can tell they're in the different arenas and the, uh, the bubble because you can see the Black Lives Matter shit down here and, you know, all that type stuff. Um, even the jerseys, you can tell because um, they have the writings in the back. Um, but uh, it's that simple. All you got to do is just do what I just showed you. And But the problem is you're not going to get many photos. So um, also, they might not be accessible. Like, I'm going to show you all. So... Unless you have WebP, like I showed y'all how to get a couple of videos ago, which you need to go learn how to get because a lot of high-quality images are WebP, which is so stupid. But um, you need to make sure you have that downloaded, but you don't have this problem. So we're going to click Images, and luckily this one's just a easy, simple JPEG. So we're going to save it to our HQs. By the way, notice how I have all my stuff situated and organized. I highly recommend you guys do that. That's just so much easier. So now that we have that, we're going to then click on it. And um, also, if you want to change it to option to where you automatically just click on your photo and it goes into Photoshop, do that as well. It's so much faster. But um, so now we have our most recent picture uh, that we want. We're just going to go into Photoshop. And we're just going to do a very simple edit. Black and white background, make him pop out uh, with a skin and, you know, something like that. So we're just going to do a simple square, uh, cross out his leg. Don't really care about his leg, to be honest even though it looks kind of weird. You know what? I'm just going to do this whole body. Why not? So we're going to hit Control alt z We're going to go back. All right, so now that we have our high-quality image, we're going to go to Filter, Topaz Labs. Do you notice now here we're, we're going to apply a skin that I haven't really used before. So we're going to go to Strong. Actually, yeah, we're going to go to Strong uh, and leave it on Strong because I kind of like the way that looks. But the skin obviously is going to look different on a different photo because that's just how it works. So um, don't follow this skin unless it works, and if it does work, then dope. So now we're going to go to Adjust, and let's just mess around. Let's just see what we can get. Uh, I kind of did like the way Dynamic Pop looked. It looked like he was popping out more. Uh, that was awful. Don't do that one. Uh, dramatic. I used to do Dramatic, too. Uh, I used to always do Poetry Drama. Which I kind of, ooh, high contrast looks kind of dope. Um, but let's not do that. We're just going to go to Stylized Collection, and we're going to go all the way down, Vivacious. Eh. I do want it, like, saturated, but not that much. Like, that's a little too much, but we can always put it down. Psychedelic just, it used to be my favorite thing, but now I just, I don't know. 
So it's either between HDR. All right, we're going to do the vivacious. It's too much for HDR. So we're going to go to transparency. We are going to leave it at 100, and then we're just going to slowly go down. Ever so lightly, just release the mouse button and just see what you like. I say right there. 53, that's in my opinion, I like. So we're going to hit apply. We're going to go to HDR collection. We're going to see what dynamic pop would look like. Not really a fan of it. Pop smooth. It's too saturated. So if you don't like this, you just hit reset. And it just goes back to your recently added selection, which was the vivacious. So let's hit OK. Then we're going to go back into denoise. Um, and I think we're just going to leave it on strong. Yeah, because I don't want to do too much denoise. And I also don't know if I'm going to do clean due to the image uh, quality. It doesn't really look that good. So clean's not going to really pop out that well. So I don't think I'm going to do that. But I'm going to just click on it and see what it looks like because why not. All right. So we're going to put it to fit. Curly smooth. Okay. Threshold zero. And put it to maybe one. Okay, you can't really tell it's on there, so I'm just going to accept it and click OK. So this is like a, this is not really like a crazy skin. It's more like a, you know, make your player pop out skin type in a way. I don't really know. But um, I'm, I'm going to do a shitty job masking just for the sake of the video. But of course, of course, make sure you do well on your masking because that will definitely change the way the edit looks. And don't do that. That pisses me off. Oh lord. Okay, so now that I have my skinned out player or masked out player, we're going to duplicate the background. Of course, you know that's the number one thing you should do. I don't know why that just happened. Don't make sure that doesn't happen. So now we're going to just simply go to image adjustments, black and white, and let's just see what these look like. I kind of like darker. What about maximum black? I kind of like that too. Okay. Now we're going to go back into image saturation, put the lightness all the way down, just about right there, and there you go. That's how you can make a simple edit. Um, if you want, you can also apply some color, so I'm going to show you guys that. I'm going to do a gradient, um, so we're going to click this, and we're going to go to our color, I like orange, and then we're going to go to gradient, go up here, make sure it's the first selection, click this one. And then you're going to click shift and then drag up and then go to normal and put on overlay. All right. If you want, you can keep it on normal, which I personally like in this situation. Normally, I wouldn't leave it on normal. I might put it down a little bit. But uh, I I don't know why. I like the way this looks. It, he really pops out and it just looks, looks, really, it looks really clean. And it, it just looks really clean. So we're just going to go to drop shadow, see how this looks too. Size, put the opacity a little bit down. All right. See, now that's one of the reasons why you should have a good masking because if you don't, it's going to look really shitty of a, a you know, outline. As you guys can see here, I didn't do that good of a job. But uh, um, I guess you guys can be done right now. That looks pretty dope to me. Uh, you know, obviously adjust it to what you want. You know, add a little bit more contrast if you'd like. Um, try to put this on overlay, which I'm not going to do that for this time. And, uh, yeah, of course, make sure you add your watermark. I always use the font Bibis Nue, whatever the hell that shit is. Um, and we're going to just type in the strong skins. Uh, well, make sure you spell your name right. And actually put the at symbol. I can't freaking see it on my keyboard. Skins. Get rid of the orange color because I don't like that on orange. Make it bigger and put it in a corner. All right. And I don't think this is Instagram size worthy, so I'm going to put this up here. That way, no matter what, my watermark is in the photo, even if I have to crop it. All right. And there you guys go. That is the simple edit and also the simple way and the best way of finding recent photos of any sports. Um, it works on anything. Um, I don't think there's any football going on right now, so I'm going to just see uh, Odell Beckham, because I remember they did um, pictures. So let's just see tools, uh, larger than for MP, 
time, past 24 hours, and no, yeah, I figured that. But, uh, you know, for sports going on right now that uh, you can't really get a hold of good photos, like, for example, NBA, um, this would work. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you guys are new. We're close to 6,000 subscribers. Let's get there. And, uh, yeah, peace out.